Hello everyone and welcome to a very special reveal of the brand new designer's choice number eight, filigrees and florals. Alison is with me in the studio and we're going to be showing you this brand new die set uh, from designer's choice. What is designer's choice? It is uh, a die set that we do every month. It's only available from Tonic Studios. There's a limited quantity of them and it's from our designer's mind. So the, the sort of distillation is the way I've been describing it of a whole collection into one set. So you've got everything you need to make those cards in one set. So yeah, we're going to go through that today. We'll show you some inspiration. Um, we'll show you the dies you're going to get in there, all that stuff um, with Alison now. And uh, yeah, so take it away. Al. Let's talk a bit more about it. Okay, dokie. So what is filigrees and florals? This is exactly what you're going to get. So this will arrive through your letterbox, ready for you to play. So this may not mean a lot to you looking at there. So let me show you on my little board. So these are all the dies you're going to get. So you have a beautiful edging die. Gives you nice shaped um, cards or card fronts. Fabulous for your scrapbooking as well and also your memory books. Then we've got a series of strips. So we've got lovely flowers, fantastic for paper piecing. Lovely, oh, we've got a little bit of glitter that's come right there. Um, lovely little flower border. So I think this set to me suits the very traditional, but also does a little bit of the modern and funky as well. So this one then, we've got a lovely leafy floral border. And then we've got some lovely little flowers on the bottom. There's always a flower die, because you know, you can't have a die set without a flower die. This one is a little bit unique. All your flowers, petals all pop up. So you can add a little bit of dimension to your card. But you can also cut it into your background. So you've got a little bit to glue down, but you've also got your petals that will all lift up. So I think this, this die set shows you more on the cards. So I'm going to go through all the cards. You don't have any cutting strips, so you will need a guillotine or a scissors or whatever is your cutting tool of choice. But I think we've crammed in as much as we can just for that purpose. So let's have a little look what we've got here. As you can see, we've got various sizes of cards. So we've gone from our A5, which is the UK size. We've got seven by seven. We've got little A6 cards, we've got square 6x6 six six cards, and we've also got A2 cards. So I think we've gone right across the board here. So I'm going to start at the back. And including style-wise as well, this is Shilpa's, and she's gone very... Yeah, just checking, we are Shilpa's. Um, she's gone very shabby chic with it, so it lends to that style. Obviously, she's mounted up the little flowers absolutely gorgeous and cut in the background detail if you show it on on the top cam oh we're going top so, 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 so there we are forward there you might be able to see it a bit more detail um th this sets as well by the way they're available worldwide okay so um if you're in the usa order from the us store if you're from anywhere else you can order from tonic studios.co.uk yeah, uh, 19 pounds 99 is what it is uh, going for in the UK and it's 19 dollars 99 in the US if you order it in the UK and it's dispatched to an address in the UK it's free shipping on this die set and there's great rates on shipping uh, in the US and for the rest of Europe and the rest of the world too so yeah with a uh, worth a look at this set and in recent times they've been selling out probably before the weekends ended so if you're watching this now on Friday um, I get it while you can because uh, by Sunday it might not yeah. be there. all right Okay, so here we go in from Christine. This is a lovely lay two card. So she's used the shaping as corner dies on this and then popped in a little panel. So the panels can be cut down. You can lengthen them. Lots of things to do with these. Nice little panel in the centre and a beautiful little wreath of all your flowers as well. Love it. And then she's used the flower border as a little banner across the centre. These sets are really... They're like a true like card maker. You, you've got all these like different elements for the bases of your cards to create sort of the the backgrounds, the bases, and everything like that. Is you know it's a workhorse of a die set uh, in that way. You've got all these different bits. As you're going to see later on, some of my favourites are like the header bits. Where yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a sec. But they're really really cute. So this one, I mean, I think this is quite young 
quite yeah, fresh. Yeah, that's it. Like, there's not, you, know, you, you impose the style that you want. Obviously. Exactly, exactly. So we've got a little bit of stripes going on behind the pattern just to give a little bit of texture. And then we've used again the flowers and the little diamond border. But I just think, you know, this one then is just a very traditional card, very calm. Um, could be used for any occasion, I think. But you've got the beautiful shape in along the top. If I show you the back, you can see there, and this is done by Claire. So yeah, on, on that, because my favorite bits are probably like the, the header bits on. The shaping. So, so, so on that one, you could do the shaping like that, that way where you've got it pressed up against the card. But on that other one, the other one on the front to your left, it's like, you can shape the top of the card like then on the back. So if you see the, the back. This is one from Shilpa. I love that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you're looking through it. So you create that chalky background or, or background and you're looking through it. That's, I think the, the sh actual shaping of a card is a quite, looks quite, it's quite powerful the way it, the, in the way it looks. It's a cool effect. You don't see it. You know, Lovely for often. a wedding invitation yeah, as yeah, well, I, I think. think this is. I know we talk a lot about weddings. Um, but I just think the shape of it reminds me of a church window or a church door. And again, you can see that the panels match together. Even though they're very different, they will all work together. So this is another A5. No, this is a 5 by 7 sorry. I've extended the panel. The panels don't match, but I've covered the join. I don't think I can lift this. Or not enough for you to see anyway. I've covered the join with the flowers. So there's always a way of covering a little join. Um, then we've gone quite large here. This is our, oh, let me show you on the top here. So you can see we've used the shape panel, top and bottom, and then we've put a pattern panel then in the center and pop the flowers out. So this is one from Vicky. Yeah, just checking. This is our Vicky's. I'm going a little bit high with the pile here. And again, this is Vicky's where she's just used the the simple panel in the center and just repeated it. Lovely little bit of paper piece in there and a nice nice bit of depth on that card. Hopefully you can see on the side. That's it. You've seen all these different types of card on, on these ones. You've got so much, like, you know, it's hard to think some of them from the same set. You know, they're all, exactly. all different. Like gonna, I think the ones you're gonna come to now are like where you've got a strip like on the side and that one behind. Yeah, and sizing, yeah, you know, that is, I think that's a seven by seven, if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, that's a seven by seven. And then I've used exactly the same panel on a little A2 card. So it just goes to show that you can always make them smaller, keep them simple or go as elaborate as you want to. So I'm going to show you how to make that on Sunday. So this one I've gone a little bit over the top with and I've used a few more of the, the, um, the strips in this one. So I've used the diamond strip as an edging panel. I've used the stitching strip in between my panels and I've also done a little bit of paper piecing. So lots of detail there. I mean, you use as many or as little. Again, this is very similar to the one we had earlier. I've used the... Um, the diamond strips in the centre, popped up the flowers. But again, it's a very simple card, even though there's a lot of detail in it, it's still very simple. You're switching up your colour palette like this, like you've got some nice warm colour ones. That's not yeah. your usual colours either. No, they're like, not. I like, yeah, I'm liking like the green and the sort of, I don't know, the, the darker red, like a wine. This is our brick red, this yeah, is. Yeah, really, really like... This is what I was saying last week on, on um, the Sunday show. I'm going to colours now that I've not usually used and I'm liking the way they're mixing with other colours that, that we have that I generally use. Yeah. So, I mean, I often use the, the greens, the pistachio, things like that. But this is our parchment, parchment and the olive green. And I think they go really, yeah, really well. So then we've used it as a stencil. And I don't, I'm hoping you can see in the centre, this is Claire's. The centre makes a different pattern. So she's obviously cut her stencil and then she's inked over it with something, but I'm not sure what she's inked with. So Claire, you're going to have to tell us. So I think she's used this as her inking palette. And then she's also gone over this with some clear embossing powder. 
and then she's cut the little edgings. She's taken them out of the next strip that she would have added to it. So I think that's a, a really unusual mm. way to show it. And then we've got our lovely strip along the bottom. This is another little A2 card. So we've used our strip in the centre and again we've used the corners to go with it. Very, very pretty and always finished off with a couple of crystal drops because you can't finish a card. After I'd made the cards, I kind of came up with a couple more ideas and I thought, excuse me, they put them in my bag this morning and they got a little bit damp. So I've done... I don't know whether we're on front cam or top cam, but I've done the card where we've got a front stepper that's shaped, but we've also got the top of the card that's shaped. So I've done it in two halves. Did that come to you in a dream, Al? No, that... not at you all. Just woke up, you just woke up. And... It was just like, oh, I haven't done that. Yeah, you know, cool. after you put your cards in. Um, so I've used one strip of A4 and I've cut it twice. And then I've cut it short then for the second one. So there's my second one glued in the background. There's my one card. If I show you the front, and there's my second card. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense to you. You can coordinate your colours and you can stick that underneath your panel so that you don't see as much. I mean, like I say, I was having a little play with it and just seeing what I could come up with. So that was that. Um, and then this is a seven by seven envelope and it fits in the back of a nice. seven by seven envelope. So you can have beautiful envelopes going out with your gorgeous yeah. cards. And, it's, and, that's, pretty, and that's, well, it's like two cuts. Isn't it? Really? One, one cut, one oh, cut, one cut, cut in one the cut in the envelope the... and a background piece to cover it. So there you go, that's, you know, you could do, th you do those and really add like, you know, if you are doing batches and something like that. Exactly. You can say custom envelopes as well that you're doing, you know, it's another. You can command a little bit more money Command then. a little bit more silver uh, exactly. for your cards. Um, yeah, awesome. So, uh, I, yeah, I love those. So that, that's designer's choice, number eight, uh, filigrees and florals. As you can see, really versatile set. All those cards are completely, you know, they could be from all sets. And that's what we're talking about, distilling a collection into one uh, die set. So yeah, this, this die set is available now. So if you're watching this, get out there and get it because sometimes they don't last a weekend. Um, and they're yeah, exclusive to Tonic Studios. You won't find this die set anywhere else or being remade in the future either. This is only available um, at this launch, all right? So this is, yep, yeah, uh, Dino's Choice number eight, uh, filigrees and florals available now, as I said, $19.99 in the UK and in the US. Uh, but wherever you are in the world, you can order. So thank you, Al, uh, for a wonderful uh, demonstration of that and showing them off. Uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, hope you enjoy the set. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.